today. Industry Hills Ike Golf Course. Got a special guest today. CJ Lee. Hi. <laughs> Came all the way from Utah? Yeah. Utah. Where did you grow up? Um, I lived in Hawaii for four years and then I lived in Seattle for 12. And then when I was 16, I moved to Utah and that's where I've been. We're going to play golf today. I'm going to be doing some interview with him and... Are we playing a match? What are we playing? Money. Yeah. For money. We're playing for money, guys. <laughs> Industry Hills, first hole, part five. We're on the left-hand side tee, which is which I prefer. Down the right side, center, I'll take it. I'm just in the left rough here. Left, okay. It looked like it was a straight hole, but. So we're playing a team match, me and Yoon versus Jason and CJ. Jason and Yoon are the Pokebar guys. They're really good golfers. They shoot in the single digits, which is really good. They're very friendly. They tend to go together into trouble. CJ, you graduated from BYU? Yes. Okay, so that was last, last May? May. Yeah. May, congratulations. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about BYU. Um, yeah, so BYU, we're in a Mormon school. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like Notre Dame, but for the LDS religion. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's 40,000 students, so it's actually a pretty big school. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a big school, but wow. a lot of people don't really know. I see, I see. And mm -hmm. you guys have a pretty strong golf team, I hear. Yeah, yeah, we've always been yeah, an NCAA regional team and consistently ranked pretty high. So. Nice, nice. And tell me a little bit about the, the tournament days. Because of our religion and school policy, we can't play on Sunday. But yeah, we have to play as five one-sums. Um, and we play our third round on Thursday. So that's after every other team has taken their practice round. And we have to tee off 5 p.m., 4 p.m. And then we have to <laughs> kind of squeeze Hustle in. Hustle yeah. squeeze but in. But this year... And we teed off, and on our second hole, we had a uh, storm delay, thunderstorm delay. Oh my gosh. For about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. And then we had to go back on the course after not being able to really, you know, warm up properly. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we had to rush, and then so we could only fit in eight, nine holes more. Uh huh. So we had to wake up early the next day before, and it was the same day as the women's national championship. <gasps> so you had to play before they yeah. start. So oh my we gosh. Teed so off at 7 a.m. Okay. And had to finish. And also, but oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it was so a much really work. odd. Yeah, situation. but the the playing conditions must have been tough too, because after a practice round, yeah, the course is beat up, and then yeah. early in the morning, that's yeah. tough. It, it but was it's tough. very very interesting, guys. Looks nice. Swing looks great. What yardage did you have? 65 yards. And what did you do there? Uh, just kind of a 50%, 60 degree. 60 degree, nice. Forget he's a lefty. Oh, nice putt. Par. So, CJ, when did you start playing golf? I started when I was 15. 15? Yes. 
How did you get into golf? And my mom rented the movie The Greatest Game Ever Played once. Uh, yeah. So I, I literally asked my parents, I was like, just take me to the driving range. For some reason, it hit me so hard that last scene, you know. Yeah. But that's that's really how I started golf. I mean, wow, because of the movie. After, yeah. Awesome. I mean, it was a great movie. It was a great movie. Yeah. yeah. So before that movie, you didn't like golf at all? No. My, I played baseball. Oh, I, played I baseball, see. baseball even in high school. I and see. So, I thought I was too cool for golf. Yeah, yeah. a lot of younger guys say that, yeah. and then once they get into golf, they like get hooked. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that seems to be a pattern. Yeah. Okay, so uh, nice par there. We're gonna do more of the interview, and we'll watch his wonderful swing. <laughs> it's a short par four. Uh, slight dog leg left. There's water on the left. Nice. Wow. So smooth. Right now I work with uh, uh, John Papour. Since I'm a smaller guy, I need to create my power in a different way than a Tony Finau, for example. And so we've kind of tried to maximize what I have. So, nice. Yeah. nice. Is it 230 to the edge of the water? Severe downhill, as you can see. So I'm gonna hit it 200 and keep it right edge of the water. I'm kind of warming up, so I'm focusing on rhythm and squareness of the face at impact. If it drew, it would have been in the water. Yes. <laughs> 106. Yeah. It's over the water. Dude, this is like severe downslope. What's your plan here, CJ? I have a little headwind, so I'd probably just try to hit a low one about, yeah, 105, 106. Okay. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, I don't have the right club. Good shot. Yeah. Good. It's about 240 to the bunker, but it's a severe uphill. I know I'm not going to get there. That means I'm going to the middle of the bunker. Take it, kick slightly to the left center of the fairway. It's 144. Oh, including uphill, okay. I always forget they have those functions. Oh, I'd be close to that. Oh, might be long. Oof, nice. The downside of growing up in Utah is uh, we're at elevation. So the ball goes about 10%, so one club. I hit about a pitching wedge about 145, 150 in Utah. Yeah. So I decided to just kind of hit it a, a hard pitching wedge. Oh, <laughs> 127, right uh, on the numbers, pitching wedge? Pitching wedge, yeah. That looks pretty good. Right next to it. I have it here. Backup. So we're doing a exclusive interview with CJ Lee. <laughs> we played on the college at golf. Now I turned pro a few months ago, and uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to Asian Tour Q School coming in a couple weeks in Thailand. So mm -hmm. that's 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 what's on the plan right now. For those that don't really know, how does the Q School work? So the first stage, there's four different sites. I think they choose either 40 or 30. I don't really know the exact number, but you have to make the cut. Move on from first stage, go to final stage. And final stage, you play against existing tour players that have lost their status, that can regain it. And they're also playing against the guys from first stage. So you just- So there's about maybe 150 from first stage? About, yeah, about, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And the last stage is tougher because you have uh, those um, existing veterans. Existing Yes, yes, yeah. okay. 180 playing 172. It's really wet, so I'm gonna hit my 180. My feet are gonna slip. Oh, bonker! Good job, Bob. Good shot. Yeah, last time I was here, I uh. I got nine. So we're two ahead. One, one, ahead. one ahead. It's a close match. How often do you work with your coach? I try to work with him once a week, once or twice a week. Yeah, and, and that's been going on for? A few months. I, I started something, oh, probably five months now. Five months. Oh, you only just recently started yeah, with him. just it. recently. Did you always start uh, with golf lessons or how did you? No, I actually kind of home taught my swing. I, I taught myself like through YouTube videos and kind of, <laughs> it's actually funny, I taught awesome. myself through um, I love it. <laughs> yeah, kind of a, a book called Golfing for Dummies, I believe, Oh. and it's by Gary McCord. Okay, wow. Um, because I didn't want, I didn't like lessons when I first began. Okay. I just wanted to hit a thousand range balls a day and kind of figure it on my own. And so I kind of have a homemade swing, kind of like James Hahn, he kind of taught himself yeah. with YouTube videos and I enjoyed that just because I like hitting a lot of balls and kind of figuring out what works for me and what doesn't. So. Awesome. Not too bad for a homemade golf swing. Actually, pretty excellent. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please press the like button, share the video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video.